What I love about Weihai is that it's got such a wonderful community of very diverse people. So my team is half international and I think it's wonderful coming into Australia's oldest biomedical institute that brings so much, not just in terms of culture, but just the way that we do science. There's such an amazing group of people that you get to collaborate with across a whole broad spectrum of sciences. That gives you a whole lot of opportunities to make a lot of impacts across a wide range of diseases. I've been working on malaria and COVID and really interested in and trying to understand how malaria in particular actually gets into cells. So we've been working with these really small proteins called antibodies, and the antibodies can bind to either the virus or the parasite and actually stop them from getting the cells. Tell me about the antibodies. How are they going to function? As you know, antibodies are like the biggest drug therapeutics that are out there globally. But WeHi has had such a history of trying to understand basic immunology to now having this therapeutic class to be some of the biggest treatments against inflammatory diseases, cancer, and of course the thing that I work on, which is infectious diseases. We're doing some against COVID as well. We're trying to target some of the key proteins in, in COVID to try to find drugs that can stop the COVID from replicating in cells. That's exciting. I'm particularly excited to bring in antibodies in combination with small molecule drug discovery as a way of us finding like the next new drugs that actually can make people's lives better. Transforming the discoveries of not only WeHi people, but people across Australia into a therapy.